I was watching all of the defendants share their testimony, and when you, when you spoke, that's when the judge started nodding. I tell you that you got and when she got the tears judge in her eyes. So yeah. can you just tell us a little? Tell us what you told the judge. Just a little synopsis. Is there a name? Hi, my name is Nora Collins. Um, I told the judge that this is my neighborhood where I've lived my entire life. I walked to this courthouse this morning from my home and the West Roxbury lateral pipeline is about 10 minutes from where I live and so when I learned that it was um, being planned to be constructed and that it had a dangerous high pressure fracked gas flowing through it and in proximity to an active quarry where there are weekly blasts um, and also where people who live close to it um, like Mary Boyle, who was out there every morning protesting it, were feeling like they needed support in their movement. I was um, moved to participate. Uh, my own neighborhood and, and community would be dramatically affected if something were to go wrong, if there were to be an explosion, a leak, which um, we had a lot of reason to believe uh, was, a, was a great risk. And I... You mentioned the connection between the trenches here. I did, and yes. Can you explain that? So the day that I got arrested, um, <clears throat> there were probably 25 other people in the trench, and um, we were doing that specific day. It was a faith-based action, so faith leaders from around the city, different religions, different denominations, were represented and praying and singing because they really saw this pipeline as a moral issue. And when we lay down in the trench, it was in solidarity people whose bodies had been put into uh, mass graves in Pakistan at the time due to recent heat waves that were um, connected to global climate change and infrastructure projects like the one we were protesting and so it was very much trying to draw a connection between our consumption, uh, the fossil fuel industry's hold on our federal government and regulatory agencies which allowed for this pipeline to be built despite all nine city councilors and mayor voting against it, saying, I don't want to be a part of something that's causing mass graves on the other side of the ocean. I don't want to be a part of something that's making people feel that they have to leave their homes because crops aren't growing, because natural disasters are striking, and it's affecting people domestically, you know. Our cities on the East Coast have been tormented by unprecedented storms, and of course these always affect poor people and people of color and vulnerable people of our country and of the world the hardest and we wanted to draw that connection and not be a part of perpetuating that.